there are some interesting myths when we talk about diabetes. Now, let me talk to my, my type 2 brothers and sisters out there. Many of you are going to go on to need insulin, okay? You're taking oral medication now, but what's happening is your beta cell, the cell that's making the insulin that you're using to break down foods into fuel, and this is you know, the, the inability to do that well is what diabetes is, right? And what's going to happen here is your beta cell over time is going to become exhausted. It's, it, it just can't function at the level that it wants to function, and you require external insulin to support you. Does it mean that your diabetes is worse per se? Does it mean that you did something wrong? Does it mean that you are a bad person? It just means that, that your physiology has changed. Just like over time, we we get gray hair, or in my case, less hair. Uh, you know, we, we our bodies change as we get older. Well, if you have diabetes long enough, it may change, and you may go on to need insulin. Don't resist that need. A lot of people are afraid of insulin and they think, oh my God, if I take insulin, that means I'll go blind. What that really is, is many people didn't try insulin until they were so far gone in their diabetes and had so many problems that there was no other choice left to them. So they see the person who has uh, uh, retinal disease and blindness or the person with amputations and they think that the insulin caused that. It didn't cause that. It's an attribute of someone whose diabetes was not well controlled for years and years and years. So don't be afraid to discuss the use of insulin if you have type 2 or if your doctor recommends it. I urge you to give it a shot. It's a naturally occurring hor hormone. We know more about insulin than almost any other drug that we use to treat diabetes. It's been around longer than most of them. It's not a bad avenue to go for. Another thing, people think shots hurt. You know, what was the worst thing when we were kids, right? You go to the doctor, the worst thing that could happen is you got a shot. You, you lived in fear of it. I did. Nowadays, the technology for injections is so incredibly sophisticated that you can't really feel them anymore. Extremely small gauge, lubricated needles. You'd be amazed if I asked any of you to come over here right through this camera and say, let me give you this really quickly. You wouldn't be sure if I put it in you or not. So that really a lot of the pain that we remember as kids was something that was partially because of our fear and anticipation. It was also partially because they used really big, large gauge needles that had to be resharpened all the time. That's not the case anymore. It's really a much more uh, easy to do thing. It's much less painful than it ever has been in any time in history. So insulin injections really, in my opinion, do not hurt. And, you know, a lot of people tell me after they try it, wow, I was all concerned about it, but now I've done it, it's not a big thing. So don't be afraid of that. A third myth is that you can't ever get into good control. A lot of people have struggled with control and think, I just can't do this. That's wrong. You can always find a way to improve your control, always. There's always a strategy that will improve your control. What it means is you just haven't found enough avenues to get to there yet. I always tell patients, you know, there's the old Babe Ruth analogy that the year Babe Ruth hit 60 home runs was also the year he led the league in strikeouts. You don't succeed without swinging the bat. You have to try sometimes and try repeatedly to find the right path. This is going back to the point we talked about earlier about individualizing your diabetes. What works for me and it may not work for you. What works for you may not work for me, but you can always find a way to make your diabetes better.